probably not hours, I'm probably exaggerating here, but a lot of time just to get that specific shot of Gengar in its most hilarious pose ever. Alright, you've got a lot of fire-type Pokemon, so I'll throw in Lapras, uh, Alakazam, and Gengar. That we're going to battle here. Okay, we're going to have a Nidoran to deal with. Nidoran male, to be more specific. We're all real specific and whatnot, but, um... We're just going to do a surf on this thing and hopefully take this thing down. What's your nickname? Niran. Niran male. I would actually give my... What are you doing? Oh, horn drill. The way you know that a one-hit KO move didn't hit, besides the fact that it didn't hit, is that the game says it's unaffected. We were unaffected by the move, so there's always that to go off. But if I had two Nidorans on my team, which I probably would never have, no offense to people who have Nidorans on their teams, um, I would definitely give them nicknames, or else I'd just be doing Nidoran, 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 Nidoran. Nidoran. But, yeah, there's a difference between them. Uh, when it eventually becomes Nidorino and Nidori and Nido King, it's definitely more of an offensive Pokemon. And when it's Nidorina and Nido Queen, it's more of a defensive Pokemon. So you take your pick on which one you like. Personally, they were never any of my favorite Pokemon, but uh, you know. I love the little s squiggly little the the little squiggly little waves that appeared on Char Charmander's eyes there. Um, Pony does one of my favorite fire type Pokemon. Um, currently playing replaying Pokemon Platinum, and I have a Ponyta on my team just because it can learn some really cool moves um, like Bounce and Mega Horn, um, which come in very handy in the game, but we're going to take down Pota, the Ponita, right here, and in one hit, or not in one hit, so let's just body slam this thing, this different colored Ponita going on here, and then we'll be done with this battle. Actually, no, it, it's going to do it to itself, because it did take down, which is a recoil move. So, and there goes the battle. And here we go. Gym leader surge time. Third gym leader of the game already. Third episode third gym leader of the game. When, how often does that happen in a Pokemon game? Never. But this is a different style game, so. Here he is, Lieutenant Surge, the leader of Vermillion Gym and the commander of Electric Pokemon. The challenger better pick the battle Pokemon with caution. All right, so we're gonna start things off here with Raichu, electric type Pokemon with the moves Thunder, Surf, Body Slam, and Thunder Wave. So if you thought about using a Ground-type Pokemon on this thing, just be careful, because this thing knows Surf. And also lowered its special stat, and in Gen 1, there was only a special stat. One special stat, and it wasn't until Gen 2 when that was actually split into a special attack and special defense stat, which makes a lot more sense, because there's a physical attack and a physical defense. Stat. So let's just take Raichu down with another Psychic type move. Yep, it is fainted. One Pokemon down already. Let's see which one is next. We got Magneton, pure electric type, as I was saying before, not the steel type. Knows the moves Thunderbolt, Takedown, Reflect, and Hyper Beam. You want to be careful with Hyper Beam. Of course, there's nothing you can do to avoid it. Hopefully, it just misses. 
But then you can take advantage of it later on, and uh, hopefully it uses it, and you know you can take advantage of the next turn. It's gonna that is going to happen when it has to rest. Those were words that I was trying to get out and I was struggling with because I could not remember the word to rest. But Psychic should take this thing down because I lowered its special stat. And there we go. We got one more Pokemon left on his team to take down. And yes, you are going to be hearing the same kinds of phrases from this guy, from this announcer, all the time. Pikachu is electric type with the move Se Seismic Toss, Agility, Double Team, and Surf. So he has a surfing Pikachu. P the Pikahuna. He's got a surfing Pikachu. Uh, hopefully this team doesn't get in double teams. That's annoying as any trainer knows whatsoever. It's going to use Seismic Toss and I'll probably have to switch over to Gengar. Alright, he took down one of my Pokemon, but fairly, fairly, fairly easy fight. Uncompared to... Or not uncompared is not even a word. I don't even know why I made that up. But compared to the... Pokemon Yellow fight, but his other team members that he's got are Voltorb with the moves Thunder, Explosion, Sonic Boom, Thunder Wave, Electrode with the moves Sonic Boom, Self Destruct, Swift, and Thunder, and Magnemite with the moves Supersonic, Bide, Thunderbolt, and Thunder. But there we go, we took down Lieutenant Surge. Good to see that Lieutenant, Lieutenant Surge went down fairly easy. Like I said, unlike the games where that is a lot more difficult for that to actually happen. And now we've got a key to open up Erica's Tower, which we will take on on the next Pokemon Stadium Gym Leader Castle. So I'll see you guys next time for that Gym Leader Tower thing. Moving quickly.